Hey, Dana, and welcome to my garage. I just got the starter for the Mustang. We'll get this freaking installed, and we'll be done. A little bit. Uh. Symptoms for this was it would be intermittent starting. It would start sometimes, and it wouldn't start sometimes, which threw right, me because I thought tuned. it was a ground. Okay. All right, so I went through AP performance for this. Oh. I went through A premium, excuse me. There you go. For this. Performance testing, 100% components. Meets or exceeds specifications. Unfortunately, made in Japan, but no way gonna do. All right, this is a old one, and as you can see, how the your holes are lined up across from each other, and then your gear is facing that way. So as long as that does that, then I think we're good. All right, here we go. They look, they look identical. No, they, or do they? I don't know, maybe that, maybe that'll be on the outside. I can't remember how this is sitting. It's sitting like that, and that's going to be on the outside. Maybe, maybe it'll work. <laughs> Let's wait and see. All right, we got it installed. Here we are. Got it. Bolt bottom here, bolt top, grounded. Uh, power, battery, battery wires connected on the back side, and then you got your starter, um, your uh, solenoid wire. So as long as it's got the extra pigtail here. Um, that's the thing. You get a lot of China parts that are interchangeable. They don't want to have to keep make, making freaking Pacific parts for Pacific vehicles. They want to make one part and have it fit everything. So doesn't it's not interfering with anything as long as the as long as the gear is gonna connect with the flywheel. We're gonna be good. Okay, so. If you want to get to that top bolt, you gotta go through here. Yeah. Yep, there's your top bolt. Go right through. Gonna go right through here. We get to that and then just do this one right here by hand. Real good. I'm using 16s. Somehow right along along the way I lost. Lost the bolts, but da, 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 da. okay, so that's where we're at. Let's hopefully it's gonna start. Mm. Stay tuned. <laughs> Reiterate, those are 15. These bolts that I'm using right now are 15, not 16. All right, let's see what happens, and we'll see if. See if the A premium starter works, even though it's got an extra ear on it. All right, boys and girls. Here we go. We hope. All right, that was quick. Awesome. I don't know why I got that. That squeal noise. Huh. I don't know. I can't tell you.
That's a weird noise, isn't it? I don't know if it's just the way that sound, just the way it is or not. But got a lifetime warranty on it, so we'll to see. But as you can see, it was the starter. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. We'll catch you on the next Dane's Garage. This is Project Mustang. It was troubleshooting the starting system. And, and the original symptoms on this, on this was there was no click. 97. When you turn the Mustang ignition key, I thought it might be ground. All right, so that kit does come with more heat shrink. And two other connectors.